Welcome back. Today we're going to read D.W. the Picky Eater by Mark Brown. D.W. and her brother Arthur were helping Mother unpack the groceries. Yuck, said D.W. I'm not going to eat this. You never even tried it, said Mother. It's looking at me, said D.W. What is she holding up? Is that a fish? I don't eat anything with eyes or pickles, tomatoes, mushrooms, eggplant, pineapple, parsnips, and cauliflower. Well, and maybe a few other things. I would never eat liver in a million years, and more than anything else in the whole world, I hate spinach. Face it, said Arthur, you are a pig eater. On Wednesday, Father surprised D.W. when he packed her lunch for playgroup. Did you eat your sandwich? he asked on the way home. It fell in the dirt, said D.W. It was an accident. Thursday at dinner, D.W. pretended to try the Hawaiian shrimp. I saw that, whispered Arthur, feeding the dog. Emily invited D.W. to stay for dinner on Friday. We're having spaghetti, said Emily. May I have mine plain, please, asked D.W. No sauce. That's the best part, said Emily. Are these little green things spinach? D.W. asked when her sp spaghetti arrived. It's parsley, said Emily. Try it. While everyone else ate, D.W. just moved her food back and forth into little piles. You'll never be a clean plate ranger at this rate, said Emily. On Saturday, D.W. and her family went out to eat. This salad has spinach in it, cried D.W. Just try it, said Mother. She's going to have a tantrum, warned Arthur. Please try it, said Father. No, said D.W., and she pounded her fist on the salad dish. I'm so embarrassed, said Mother. No more restaurants for you, scolded Father. From then on, the family went out to dinner without D.W. I'd rather stay home with a sitter anyway, said D.W. Mrs. Cross only allowed carrot sticks for snacks. And at exactly 8 o'clock, she said, Bedtime, now march quickly like a bunny. One morning at breakfast, Arthur twirled a tiny umbrella. Where did you get that? demanded D.W. At the Chinese restaurant, said Arthur. It was fun. D.W. began to wonder what she was missing. Tomorrow is Grandma Thora's birthday, announced Mother. Our big night out. I want to go too, said D.W. You will have to eat what's on the menu, said Mother. I will, said D.W. You will have to try new foods, said Father. I will, said D.W. Even if it's green and looks like a leaf, asked Arthur. Everyone got dressed up Saturday night. D.W. wore her black shoes with the bows, even though they pinched her toes. Happy birthday, Grandma Thora, said Arthur and D.W. together. I hope they have plain spaghetti, prayed D.W., D.W. was happy when she sat in her chair. No one will see me if I have to get rid of something disgusting, she thought. I'm Richard, said the waiter. Here's a kitty sit for the little lady. Thanks a lot, said D.W. Do you have food with little umbrellas on it, she asked. We do not, said the waiter. Everyone ordered, except D.W., you better bring her the kitty menu, said Arthur. Father read, 
DW the menu. Children's menu. Three little pigs in a blanket. A bagel platter. A farmer in the deli. Little Bo Peep pot pie. Goldilocks griddle cakes. And three bears burger and fries. Time to choose, he said. I guess I'll have the Little Bo Peep pot pie, said DW. When dinner was served, all eyes were on DW. She took a bite. This is good, said DW. DW took another bite and another. She drank all her milk. Good work, said mother and father. I'm very proud of you, said Grandma Thora. Arthur checked under the table. Where did you put it? he asked. I could eat this every night, said DW. Will you make it for me at home, please? I'll need the recipe, said Mother. What a good, what a good little eater, said the waiter when he cleared DW's dish. It was delicious, said DW. How do you make that? Very simple, really, said the waiter. Just take some pie pastry and fill it with lots and lots of spinach. Mm. The end. That's all, folks. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.